So I'm here at Reading Stained Glass, and this is John the owner, and yeah. he's going to talk us through his stock and the sort of glass he has, why he has it, where he gets it, all that sort of thing. He's an expert, encyclopedic knowledge about glass. So well, over to you, John. Okay. So these are some of the different types of glass that we keep in the shop. So this sort of texture is good for Miranese glass. It's a copy of the Victorian glass, and it comes in clear and in colours. And That's where it. does that come from? It comes from America. And it's still made on the same presses as the original really? type of glass. Yeah. Um, and who's it made by? It's made by Wismac Glass Wismac. Company okay. yeah. Yeah. in America. So at the moment we've got it in just clear and four colours, but in about four or five weeks' time we've got it coming in about 20 other colours. Yeah. 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 So brighter colours. All these glasses in this rack here are made by Wismac Glass Company. So you've got streaky glasses. So they'll either be two colours streaky or one colour streaky on clear, or this one's a multi-coloured streaky. Some of them are flat texture, and some of them have got a granite texture to them, which looks more sparkly um, and catches the light. The other textures we've got in here are English muffled glass, which are these ones along the bottom, which are also a copy of the original Victorian texture. Yeah. Very prolific, all through Victorian and Edwardian, and that's good for making new windows that look like they're old and for restoring old windows. In the top row, we've got another texture which is more of a sort of hammered sort of pattern, which is called Corella Classic. Again, it's made by Wismac Glass, and that's good for 1930s, 1940s, and 50s style windows. So this all comes from America. Do yeah. they not produce it in Europe anymore? Mm. Not this type of glass. Right. So in Europe you only get more of a flat type of glass okay. without the texture, yeah. which will come from Poland, Germany and France. Any from England? Yes, we do have some from England, which we've got down here. I'll okay. show you a bit. Have a look. So this is English glass. It's made in England. It's all handmade sheets. It's made by the English Antique Glass Company. They're up in the Midlands. They're the only coloured glass manufacturer in England now. Yeah. So you can see it's beautiful glass and it comes in lots of different colours. It's all got the same texture, which is just natural bubbles in the glass and rings, which are like swirls going through the sheets. It cuts really beautifully. Yeah. It's nice to work with. Is it expensive? It's quite expensive, it's all handmade. It does vary in thickness through the thickness of the sheet, if you look, you can see. Oh, yeah. It varies the thickness of the glass yeah. through the sheet. Obviously, where it's thicker, the glass is a darker colour. Where it's mm. thinner, the glass is a lighter colour. Well, that's so what makes it so lively when you use it. Yes, that's what gives you the liveliness, yeah. yeah. Mm. And you've got them in hobby cups. We sell them in well. small pieces as well, yeah. You can buy small pieces like that as well. We don't charge extra for cuts and small pieces or anything. Okay, so, so you can buy small pieces or larger pieces, right. it's the same price. So you'll just take minute. it off the sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another bit of oh, the English glass. That's there. so beautiful. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah, the glass is amazing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's not the cheapest, but it's absolutely beautiful. Also in these racks we've got um, glass from Bullseye Glass Company in Portland in Oregon. And this type of glass is called ring bottle glass, and it was originally made for making Tiffany lamps. It's got this particular sort of little mottling pattern in it. Gorgeous. It looks quite beautiful. You could be use it in windows as well as lamps. If they're using it in windows, they tend to use the sheets that are more transparent. Yeah. Does it come much more transparent see? than that? No, that's a, that's probably one of the more transparent sheets. Okay. So if we get another sheet out, it might not be as transparent. There we go, that's another sheet there, isn't it? Wow. That's quite stunning, isn't mm. it? Yeah. And they're all different, so... Yeah, every sheet's yeah. completely different. If you fire it in the kiln, these, this pattern will disappear. Yeah. You'll still get all the streakiness. Yeah. But the pattern will disappear and some people do buy it and fire it yeah pre-fire it before they use it yeah. to get get rid of the pattern but it won't change color no you get all the same color you'll still get all the same streak in this but you just lose these little ring models okay so but like i said they're typical of uh glass that tiffany studios used to use right and the handmade sheets you can see got the handmade edges 
the wrong details there. Look. Lovely. Beautiful glass. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the other glass that we have in these racks is mirrored coloured glass. So we stock coloured glass that's been mirrored. So you can't see through it. So it's not good for windows, but it's great for mosaicing it's onto walls and stuff. Isn't it? Yeah. So it's single sided on the back, it looks like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we, we sell that in about 30 different colours. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's another piece there. It's a little piece there. Okay. Let's see, it kind of yeah. sparkles. That's lovely. Yeah. Um, what's this glass then? Okay, so this glass is predominantly made by Spectral Glass Company. Yeah. Originally, they've now been taken over and they've got Oceanside Glass coming in. Do they still sell this glass under the Spectrum name? No, it's under Oceanside right. now. But all my customers still call it Spectrum well, because yeah. that's what it was for like 30, exactly. 40 years. Yeah. 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 And, and now it's all made so it's fusible. So it's all got a label on saying it's fusible glass now. So that's that's 96 system fusible. Yeah, which is basically good for fusing people. That it's all fusible, but for stained glass people, it means it costs more than what it used yeah, to. Yeah, and it's irrelevant. The other reason why it costs more is because the factory is a much smaller operation than the original factory. So does that mean they have less variety? Or yeah, yeah, they've cut, cut back a lot of the range as well. Probably 50% of the glasses were discontinued when they took over. Wow. So. And is it a longer lead time as well? Yeah, and it's all made in Mexico now as well. So, whereas originally it was made in America. So, um, so has that affected your supply? Um, it affects it a bit because it takes longer for them to produce the glass because they don't have as big a capacity. And it will cost a bit more because they're not making the volumes. Yeah. But they do this nice texture, this, this water texture glass. This texture is called yeah. water glass, yeah. The texture looks like ripply water. Yeah. That's a streaky one, but it's in plain colours as well. It's a plain one. But it's the actual texture that looks like water, so that's what it's called water glass. But um, it's a beautiful glass, and there's no other alternatives from other manufacturers that make that sort of texture. No. Um, so as you can see, it comes in all these different colours. It comes in sort of sheets that are normally about two foot by four foot, mm. um, but we sell small pieces as well. Yeah, and you've got the streaky with it as well. Yeah. Okay, the few streaky ones that are in here are from a different manufacturer. Oh, okay. They're just in temporary uh, in those racks at the moment. So. Okay, so in this rack, it's again predominantly spectrum glasses. There are a few uh, from other manufacturers that we've introduced as. Uh, substitutes for discontinued spectrum glasses. Right. So you've got a lot of clear textured glasses in here. Interesting textures. They're really good if you want to make windows with texture. That one looks a bit like snake skin. Yeah. That's good. Cortesa. Um, this one is a CD one, which is more obscure than it used to be. When it came from the old factory, it used to be clearer. Yes. Um, with less bubbles, yeah. now they're making it it's slightly different. It is a bit different. Which yeah. is not good if you're trying to match up for no. repairing windows. No, it's not. If you're trying to repair something, it's going to look quite different. This is an iridescent piece in comparison of the old stock and the old factory. You can see how less bubbly it is yeah. and more transparent it is. Mm. It's annoying when they change the glass like that. Well, the only way you can actually get it to repair good is to sandblast all the iridescence off of, the, off of here and then fire it back in the kiln again. And then that'll look like what it used to look like while we've got stock of the iridescent. Right. So. so is the iridescent going to be discontinued? It's all discontinued. Oh. All iridescent glass for the spectrum at the moment. So. Okay. That's another interesting yeah. texture. Yeah. That's good ripple. Hard to cut that though, isn't Hard it? Hard to cut. Very thick, just going to put the edge of it. Yeah. Very hard to cut. Yeah, nasty. It's effective in little pieces and really contemporary. It is, it is in contemporary yeah. with it, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah. This one's very sparkly, it's called ice crystal. Yeah, I like that. Again, you get a lot of it in older windows. Yeah. So it's quite a good match. And then this one is. Again, granite, you get that in a lot of Victorian windows again, so it's good for repair work or making new panels to look yeah. original. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so this one's a Wismat glass. It's a hammered. It's a very slightly smaller pattern than what you get in the original 30s windows. But it's the, the best available for matching up. It's a shame they, they don't make it like a bit bigger, so it actually I know. matches the original. It might be that this was the size that was made in America at the time. Oh, okay, maybe. Because again, this is made by Wismat glass in America. Yeah. And some of their older patterns aren't the same as ours, unfortunately. That, this is a spectrum hammered in comparison. If you look, it's totally different. And the difference there as well is the spectrum one is a concave, and the Wismac one is a convex. But you do get both types of hammered in old windows in England. But mainly the concave ones are more from the 60s and 70s period. And so the, the next ones in this rack are iridescent glasses. So you can see they've got a pearlized sheen on the glass. That's is that completely opaque? That's completely opaque, yeah. yeah, yeah. But again, people use it for making lampshades or mirror frames okay. or for mosaic work. Yeah. Another See, it looks almost like a petrol effect yeah, on the thing. glass. Quite striking. It's very striking, and when you cut it into small pieces, it can look even more effective. Yeah. And the rest of these glasses are spectrum ones again. So these ones are called wispy ones. So they're pretty transparent, just with a few wisps on there. Again, you wouldn't use it in old windows or anything, it's just for more contemporary work. Yeah. And then the other ones in these racks are opalescent glasses, which are totally non see through. It could be like that, for instance. So that's non see through glass. And some people even use this for like splashbacks and stuff in I the can houses. Imagine, yeah. Yeah. That's rather pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So it's an opalescent glass. Yeah. And it's that spectrum again. Spectrum again, yeah. We've got a lot, lot of different colours in that range of opals and whispers. And the next rack along we've got here is a predominantly um, antique glass from Poland, which is transparent oh, with um, little bubbles. Like champagne bubbles that just like naturally occur in the process. You'll often get more bubbles at one end of the sheet than the other, and you'll also get darker colour at one end than the other colour at uh, other end because of the thickness of the sheet's not equal all the way through the sheet. That catches the light beautiful. Um, out of all the uh, handmade glasses, this was like. The, the, the cheapest one out of all the different ones that made really. And how long have you stocked that Polish one? We started stocking that in 1989. Oh, you had a long time. So a long time, yeah. 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 Well, it's still a consistent good seller. Yeah, it come and out it's good value for money. Yeah, and it is beautiful. Okay, so this, this glass is one of the most expensive glasses in the shop. Which is what we call a gold pink. Pink being one of the most expensive mm -hmm. colours actually would colour the glass with gold dust to make it go pink. Would you have any in a darker pink? We do, yeah, that's the paler one. Oh, that. that is such a good colour. That's a darker one. And I love the way it, you get it pale at the bottom where the glass is thicker at the top, it's yeah. just so rich. And then we also have the same one with um, Wisps of blue going through it, mm. which should be like, like that. It's very strong, isn't it? And obviously, it's up to you as the artist to use it in the direction and cut the right piece from the sheet yeah. to make your window look fantastic. Yeah. I mean, when I'm buying, I'm I'm often going through all the sheets till I get the one with just the colouring right I'm bit, looking for. Yeah, and this will have um, bubbles. And also, if you see the little lines that are in there, that are called yeah. stirations. And they catch the light as well, and look beautiful. So 
so what make is this glass? Okay, so this is Dynasty glass, which is one of the cheaper textured glasses. It's still beautiful. It's still beautiful, it's quite brittle, it's not the easiest glass to cut. A lot of people when they're beginning doing stained glass buy the cheapest glass because they're just beginning. Yeah. Then they find it hard to cut it because it's not easy to cut glass. Yeah. Really you're better off when you're beginning to, to start with a medium priced glass which will be easy to cut. Well that's good. Be less that's, brittle. that's really interesting mm. advice. That's good sometimes because yeah. the, the stuff that's more brittle sometimes even you just score it with a glass cutter and it pings I and know, breaks in two. It's too. so annoying yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And, often, and you think, was there something under it? Why did yeah, it do often that? It often doesn't break down the line. Yeah. So, um, I try and advise people that are teaching stained glass not to buy it for their students well, if that's, possible. I mean, that's, re that's what's so useful about coming somewhere like here yeah. where you've got all this knowledge and you yeah. can advise people about that. Yeah. That's the same sort of glass. So it's just got a nominal texture all over. Yeah. Look, looks quite good for Victorian style windows yeah. again because it's... I mean, quite Looks often, old. The, the texture and the colour that you're looking for does yeah. dictate what you buy. Yeah. And so even though it might be hard to cut, you you still have to go for That's it right. because it's, it's what you yeah. need for your job. That's it. So those are all different colours of that type of glass. These glasses in this rack are made by Lambert's Glass Company in Germany. Um, and that's quite beautiful glass as well. Yeah, it's handmade. It's not the cheapest type of glass, but it's... Um, quite beautiful as well. And, and is any of this flashed? Yep, some of it's flashed. Oh wow, so that's so nice. Yeah, that's a white streaky. Yeah. It's hard to get a nice white glass. That, that is beautiful. Yeah, because it's not too um, solid. No. It's gorgeous. You can just see things yeah. in it to, 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 to make the design. Certainly. So the ones in this rack are flashed, so they're made of two layers of glass. So you can etch through one layer, leaving another colour, or leaving clear glass. So what you, is that clear with red flashing? That one's a red with clear, yeah. yeah. We've also got um, colour on colour as well. And we also do, like, this one's a multi-coloured. That's lovely. That's a multi-coloured flashed on clear. So you can sandblast through it, leaving your pattern in clear, yeah. or brilliant cutting. Yeah. And sometimes I've put another shade of glass behind it, so yeah. I've used two layers of glass. Yeah, and then to I totally changed the look yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then also in that same rack we have French glass, which is made by a company called Saint Just, and again that's flashed. So it's a thin layer of colour over a clear glass, so you can etch through. Um, I don't know if you can pick that up on there, but the colours on the top layer here. And then the rest of the layer is clear glass. And is it difficult to cut that sort of glass? Okay, so when you're cutting it, you must, must always cut it, scoring it on the clear side, not on the coloured side. If you score it on the coloured side, it will break all over the place and it'll end up in tears. <laughs> yeah, you're bringing back bad memories. Mm, if you put it this way up, so the clear's on the top and do your scoring on that surface. Yeah. It cuts easy. I'm always yeah. writing F, yeah, cut F, on this F, side. F, cut on this side. Um, on, my, uh, on my on yeah, my flash glass, yeah, so I yeah. get the flash side. That's you know it. which is the flash yeah. side. And that's made in France. That is. Again, it's beautiful glass. Cuts really nicely. In, in these racks are clear glasses, but handmade, so they're ripply. For if you want them to go in an old building, so it looks like the original handmade window glass. Yeah, it's got that movement, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's got the movement. And we do a lot of that for um, uh, old buildings, for leaded windows. In fact, this is the glass we made all the windows for Harry Potter out of this glass. Did for you? All the film sets, yeah. Wow, that's attention to detail, isn't yeah, it? 986 so leaded windows. Half a metre by how long? 1.5 metres. How long did that take? Five you? years. <gasps> Yeah, we had about six people on it for about That's five years. That's some investment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now those windows are in the visitor centres. Really? So there's one in England, one in Japan and two in America. Yeah. Wow. Respect to them for doing it so properly. Yeah, yeah, because everyone said that the books were so good and they'd never be able to make the films as good as the books. Uh, but so. with the help of Reading Stained Glass. Mm. Well, I advised them to have that, that glass. Brilliant. And so that's all readily available then? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because you don't want to run out halfway through a job like that? No, we sell it to people that do a lot of work on listed buildings yes. and things like that. Yeah. Yes. But also for a lot of film sets still. Yeah. yeah.